it was after the last drought we understood that the way we had handled it was not f efficient enough. Uh, we haven't built um, confinement areas to handle our whole herd, but we've put together a, sis a, a set of yards which will mean that we can, if we want, feed our trading cattle for weight gain rather than weight than maintenance, uh, which will allow us then to, to produ produce um, uh, cash flow uh, during a period where normally that would be very difficult. Certainly allows you to um, maintain stock stocking rates without uh, being terribly detrimental to most of your pasture, most of your, your country. Um, you're going to have to sacrifice some areas and know that they will need to be re-sown or whatever, but it, it allows you to uh, manage your environment a lot better than, than leaving cattle out on paddocks. The biggest benefit is that you can manage your cash flow better, um, you can manage your workload to a degree, some people will say that selling stock and not having to feed is the most efficient way to do it, but when you've put 30 or 40 years into a breeding program, uh, selling stock um, because you're forced to uh, goes against the grain, really. <laughs> the major factors that we took into account was is the soil or the, the, the ground that you're going to be build, building it on suitable for heavy um, cattle flow? Are you close enough to your working facilities not to create problems having to move stock backwards and forwards? And is, are your feeding requirements looked after as far as water and the, uh, the access to, um, to your whatever feed source you're going to use? The whole design is working very well at this stage. It's sited um, directly ne next to our main working yards with access straight from the confinement feeding yards into our working yards. Uh, it's only uh, half to three quarters of a kilometre from our major storage areas, which means that we're not, we're not spending a lot of time carting. Um, and it's on a very gravelly ridge, which means a gravel ridge that drains well which means we're not having to deal with a great deal of mud. Uh, we have our own um, bobcat and uh, yard cleaning facilities. So uh, when we've got stock in those yards, every two to three weeks, we'll go through and do a complete clean, re-gravel anywhere which needs to be graveled. Uh, if anything, we will probably over time expand it to give ourselves more, more capacity. Um, but still only really meaning to use those yards as production yards, not as, not as our breeding herd maintenance areas. Um, they, will, they will still do it in small paddocks um, close, to the, close to the silage pit.